Egg protein powder, which is usually egg white protein powder, is made from dehydrated egg whites that have been processed into fine powder. Most manufacturers use a spray drying process to produce the powder. What's interesting is that egg protein powder used to be the staple in most bodybuilders' diet in the 80s. Even though some supplement companies had concentrated milk protein powder, there was no whey or casein protein powder. So the main protein supplement most fitness enthusiasts used at that time was egg protein powder. That's because in general egg protein is a very high quality protein. One scoop provides approximately 24 grams of protein, four times the amount found in one whole egg. Egg protein powder, especially when made from free range eggs, also contains some vitamins like vitamin A, B and D. As an animal protein, it is also high in all essential amino acids and a particularly good source of the three branch chain amino acids, leucine, isoleucine and valine, which are especially important in muscle growth. Now what does egg protein powder do? Your body requires more protein when you want to build muscle, whereas the general recommended protein intake for the average adult is anywhere from 0.4 to 0.5 grams per pound of body weight someone looking to build muscle at the optimal rate should consume about double that. While you can theoretically get all your necessary protein from whole food sources, consuming enough protein that way can be tricky, especially when you don't have time to prepare high protein meals all day. That is why most athletes and bodybuilders use protein powders in addition to a balanced diet. So if you're crunched for time, a good protein powder can really make your life easier. Now that you know why consuming a protein powder can be a good idea, what are the pros and cons of egg protein powders? As for the pros, you first have a moderate digestion. Whereas whey is a fast digesting protein and casein a slow digesting protein, egg protein falls somewhere in the middle. This means egg protein will not only boost protein synthesis, but also prevent muscle protein breakdown. You also have a low degree of processing. Egg white protein powder is naturally very low in carbs and fat. That means very little processing is needed for the end product. This makes it the perfect protein powder for anyone worried about the mechanical and chemical processing that some protein powders have to undergo. And lastly, you don't have lactose. Since egg protein powder is not derived from milk, it doesn't contain any lactose. This makes it a great option if you're lactose intolerant or just cannot handle milk very well. Now, what about the cons? Well, first of all, it's not a whole egg. Consuming egg protein powder is not the same as eating a whole egg. Most of the nutrients in an egg are found in the yolk, which isn't part of egg white protein powder. Egg white, even when it's not dried, is already low in anything but protein. So don't expect to get a lot of vitamins from egg white protein powder. And you also have the issue of antibiotics. Traces of antibiotics, hormones, and other pharmaceuticals can be present in egg protein powder if they used factory farmed eggs. There is no real way for you to check what types of eggs were used, so I recommend that if you buy egg white protein powder, go with a well-known brand and a protein powder based on free-range eggs. Great, now that you know about the generals of egg protein powder, how should you take it? Your daily dose of protein supplements will depend on how much total protein you need to consume every day. Like I mentioned earlier, 0.8 to 1 gram per pound of body weight works as a good rule of thumb. But keep in mind that the majority of your diet should always be based around whole foods, which applies not only to protein but all macronutrients. So try to build your diet around quality protein sources and use protein powder only as a supplement and not as a substitute. Depending on your lifestyle, required protein intake and willingness to cook, I suggest you get around a third to maximum a half of your protein from protein shakes. In regards to egg protein timing, you can take it at any time of day and with any meal. If for some reason you want to take it right before your workout, you probably want to give it more time than whey because it's slower digesting so at least an hour or two before you hit the gym. Like casein, egg protein is also good protein to take before bed. 
Consuming protein before bed can help you get a little more recovery and protein synthesis and egg protein will be digested slower than whey protein for example so it makes sure you provide your body with a steady amino acid supply throughout the night. In theory you could also combine whey, casein and egg protein to maximize muscle growth. Whey to achieve fast muscle protein synthesis and egg protein and casein to maintain it for a few hours while also decreasing muscle breakdown. But if you're getting most of your protein from whole food sources, you will have a steady supply of amino acids in the blood anyway. So the benefit of mixing these three is minimal. Try it for yourself and see if it's worth the hassle. And lastly, side effects. Egg protein is generally very safe. There are no studies showing that protein supplementation or higher protein intakes in general can lead to kidney damage or bone loss if you are a healthy adult. People with existing kidney problems should talk to their doctor first, but anyone else shouldn't worry about egg protein side effects.